Again. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. This is the uh, 3 p.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update. Basil Chapman here. I do the 10 o'clock Tiger Technicians Hour, and we've got the Dow down 182 at 33,846. Not bad action when you consider there was quite a bit of selling after making a new recovery high. Uh, for next week, watch the 33,500 support. It's, uh, under that, it says it's got a bit of a timeout coming. Uh, and on the upside, if it breaks into the 34,300, uh, that's going to be really good action because it goes back to the February the 14th high. S&P is the same sort of thing. S&P is trading down 13 at 41.32. Uh, Long-legged doji candle here and leg E. Um, anytime next week, if there's a close above 41.78, uh, I'd say 41.82, that's a close. That's going to be really good because you can retest the height it was made back in February of 41.95, and the 4,060 level is really key support to hold. And you're looking at the QQQ um, sideways action today. It is un uh, minus one at 318.09. It has key support in the 312 area. Under that would be a problem. Lovely if it can go to 323. That'll be good action. IWM is very weak today. It's down uh, two at 176. Now, gold is the one that we're looking at because gold had a spectacular move yesterday going to new recovery high today. It's given back quite a chunk. It did go into the 14-period moving average in the daily chart. That weekly chart is still pretty good. What we are looking at is if gold is able at any point to get to the 20, uh, 20, Yes, 2090 to 2110 area. That's going to be really good action. My suspicion is going to try to go down, test the 1980s, and that's going to be important. The uh, thing I want to look at here was that U.S. bonds had a very sharp pullback today. That means yields are going up. But you can see from this uh, weekly chart of the of the U.S. bonds, we're stuck in a range here. We're not going anywhere. I think we're just stuck in a range. And crude oil has the 200-period exponential moving average of 80.40 as key as a magnet line. It has to break away from that. It's up 28 cents today at 82.44. So with that said, I'm going to hand you over to Jacob Shufi. And J Jacob is going to take us through to the close today. Uh, Tom O'Brien's out and uh, handing you over to Jacob. Have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Uh, have a wonderful weekend, everyone. I'll see you on Monday for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out our opening call daily newsletter. See you on Monday.